Let's go. Oh, we're, we're recording now already. Quick, close the door. Welcome, everybody. My name is uh, Liam Phillips, as you know, and I've got a, this incredible little book program called um, The Book in You. And in that, I'm, I'm actually interviewing a whole bunch of authors from around the world. They are amazing people, amazing creators. Um, and today I'm talking with the amazing Alan Jones, who lives in London and is a good friend of mine and also has uh, contributed to me hugely in many, many, many different ways. And this is one of the ways I'd like to contribute to him and get out his new book that has just been released uh, yesterday. So welcome, Alan. What's the name of the book? Because I've forgotten it again. <laughs> no, I don't do relationships easy. <laughs> relationship done oh. easy <laughs> done easy yeah now you're you're the first author that i've actually um oh by the way guys if you don't know alan is also a bars facilitator and facilitator of consciousness in many different areas um, he lives in london you need to contact him if you require some change in your life actually don't contact him if you need some change in your life because he will give it to you and you probably won't want it pop pop all that <laughs> so, but beforehand we were talking about y your book and it's just been released and it's a little bit different to all the other books that we've had on the, on the um, program so far in that it is a collaborative effort so what does that actually mean okay in this instance the collaboration was was about 20 different authors writing their take on relationships done easy so that's the kind of the theme of it was you know how do we create our relationships how do we kind of make them more ease how do we have more fun with them and so you know they could be read as singular chapters or they could be read as a whole book but there isn't like for many books there's like a theme going all the way through it you start you have a middle you have an end these kind of have all of that in each individual one so it's been an interesting experience not to kind of see a flow in that sense all the way through it not doesn't make it a bad thing just makes it a different kind of book mm -hmm. yeah cool so uh, uh, as a collaboration um well, just part of writing your book, your your part of that, your chapter, so to speak. Um, how was that for you? How, how did you start that? I mean, that, as a collaboration, I get there might have been some sort of time, you know, uh, timeline that you had to sort of stick to. Yeah, we were given a date by when the chapter needed to be written. I think it was something like December. Uh, I wrote this about 18 months ago. And I wrote, uh, so I was asked in September to do it. And so I was kind of asking, you know, just kind of being the energy of, what, you know, first of all, I, as many people do when they get asked to, to do a book or contribute to a book or whatever, what they think about writing, but they go into that initial fear. So I did a lot of processing for that for me and just getting clear on what was mine, what wasn't mine, what my fears were, what my points of view were. And I just kind of played with that without making it, significant and it, about a month later I asked which is a bit of a strange thing I asked the chapter to let me know when it was ready to be written and where it wanted to be written and I just woke up one morning and just like I almost like this, <laughs> this voice was going okay I'm ready to be written now I'm like okay where where should we go and I just picked up my laptop and I went to a cafe around the corner it was a beautiful sunny day. I sat there, I had a nice cup of coffee and two and a half hours later, my chapter was written. It just kind of happened. Um, and I just let the words, I asked the chapter to let me know what words it wanted me to use or would create the most. So kind of wrote the chapter, left it for a day, came back to it the following day, edited it very slightly, just some of the wording, um, and then submitted my chapter. And, you know, when, when I got it back for with some suggested edits, there were a couple, but they were more about um, Americanizing it as opposed to the actual content of the chapter. So the chapter in and of itself is still 95% of what it was when I first wrote it, which I'm really pleased about. Wow, that's amazing. There's two things that come up for me that I'd like to ask you about on that was, um, one is 
it's 95% of how you would like it. And the other one is where you would like to, to um, write it. So could you talk a little bit more about keeping the content the way that you would like to have it go out in the world without a lot of people saying, oh, you should change this or that doesn't make sense or um, and tools yeah. that you may have used to, to get around that. Absolutely. Because, you know, the, the thing I, something I'm going to offer people is, you know, when you first write this kind of stuff, something that, that you know, I, I learned from, from Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, was sometimes you need to be just for me, just for fun, never tell anyone. I hadn't told anyone about the chapter. Because mm -hmm. what I didn't want was lots of different people forcing their energy at me about what the chapter should be, what it shouldn't be, how it should be written. And when some of the edits came back for me, um, I kind of followed the lightness of actually do I have, does, does the chapter, cause I, you know, I tend to view these, these kind of these things as creations in and of themselves with their own consciousness. And I would talk to it going, okay, do you have a point of view about whether we change it this way for every one of the edits? Do you have a point of view about changing this? Do I have a point of view about changing it? So, you know, would it create more to edit it this way or leave it the same? So for each of the edits, I kind of ask those questions. Some of them, you know, they stayed the same. Uh, uh, yeah, some of them, they stayed the same. Some of them I actually edited. The ones that I kept the same, it was more from the point of view of this is my voice, this is what I'm saying about um, relationship, which is what the, the chapter was about, um, and my take on it. And to, to put this kind of slightly different point of view that somebody else has, isn't what I'm saying. It's not my energy. It's not what I'm contributing. So it's great to have these people offering edits. But for me, what's really key is being true for me, what's true for me, being true to me, and being and explaining what is true for me. Because you know, otherwise I'm gonna get lost in everybody else's points of view and everyone will have a point of view about the chapter. Yeah. And that's also so clear from all of this when you're writing the chapter, when you start to doubt it or you know, you go into that kind of, you know, this is crap because I went there a couple of times after the book had been written. Only a couple of times. Yeah. Well, yeah, quite a few on the actual launch day. Yeah. And it, the greatest tool there for me was who does that belong to? Because mm -hmm. if we trust ourselves, that's, you know, in, you know, I would invite anyone writing your chapter. What if you could trust you and your knowing implicitly? What if you could trust you and the contribution you be implicitly? It's yeah. not a kindness to yourself to constantly doubt yourself and put yourself down. We all have a voice. We all have something amazing to contribute to the world just by being us. And it's, it's not a kindness to try and shut that down in favor of somebody else being bullshit or pushy. Mm. I've noticed that in religion um, uh, over the years that people will say, um, oh yes, we're totally willing and open to accept you as long as you fit into the way that we think. And that's really a judgment. And, and so this is very different because it's, you're, you're going from the point of view that everybody has um, their own point of view, their own uh, way of expressing who they be. And if you can be an interesting point of view about them and you, then there's, then there's no, there needs no barriers and everybody can be an allowance of what each person is creating, creating their own reality. Most definitely. I mean, the, the title of my chapter in and of itself is pretty controversial. I mean, it is, I think it's relationship. Why the fuck would I want that? Yeah. And hey, maybe well, I should have read that last year. I mean, <laughs> fuck <right>. you, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> because the point is it's like for me that those are the words why why would i want that because you know if you read the chapter you'll see all of the different points of view that i was aware of about you know who the hell wants to get into that kind of crap except mm -hmm. as you're talking about relationship for me is about what works for you yeah and this, yeah and so your relationship with your book how does that work for you when you're writing your book what what do you desire your book to what does you know work with that rather than everyone said you should have a beginning and a middle and an end and you should start at the beginning and, and, and end at the end 
I mean, when I, I, I have got other books that I'm, I'm so aware w- would like to be written, and I'm not going to write them in the conventional way of start, middle, and end. I'm just going to write the bits as they come and then stick it all together. Cool. Mm. So, what, so the other question that I had was, um, where would you like to be written? That is, that is a great question, and I hadn't actually heard that from anybody else or it popped up in my reality yet. So um, can you, can you ex- expand on that? Yeah, um, when it comes to being creative, again, there is this kind of conform point of view that, you know, a writer should sit at the keyboard and sit there and write for half an hour every day and force themselves to do it. That can work for some people. My question to you would be, what actually is fun for you? If it's really not fun for you to, to force yourself to sit at the keyboard, what if instead you ask a question about, what would be fun for you? What would create the space and the ease? Where where would you like to be that you know you feel at ease and you can have words flowing? For me, I love being in coffee shops. There's something about being in a coffee shop and having a coffee that just is just spacious for me. And you know, for you it might be a park, it might be, it might be your computer, it might be your lounge, it might be anywhere. So, you know, you've got to play with it and just just being the question of actually where is most fun for me to create this kind of thing and it might be different every time you write a chapter mm-hmm. so it's really staying the question what would be fun for me to and where would be fun for me to write this or to, to play this and if you get there and you find actually this isn't fun for me you can choose something different <laughs> you don't have to sit in the cafe for an hour it's like okay so what else is possible and ask the book that you're writing, hey, book, show me where you would like to be written and follow those little wisps of inspiration that go, oh, do you know, I'm just going to go to the coffee shop. Just try that. Cool. Alan, I'd like to thank you. I want to keep these things short so people are actually sure. watching because I know sometimes when we go over like 10 minutes or so, people will go, oh, I don't want to watch. I haven't got time, etc. Um, but if people would want to get hold of you or hold of your book, where do they go? I mean, how do they contact you? They can go to my website, which um, you can probably see it on the little writing there, which is um, alan, A-L-U-N hyphen jones.com. They can, on there, there's a page at the moment that will have a link to the book. You can purchase the book on Amazon. Um, and when, because I've got a special offer on today, but after that, it will be on my recommended books page and they'll be able to buy it from there. Yeah, cool. Well, Alan, thank you so much for coming on this uh, little meeting and, and giving us your insights on, on how you created your chapter in a uh, collaborative book. I had to look over for the word there. It's not a word that I use often because I'm not really a collaborative type person. <laughs> Me either. I'm more I'm more like a lone wolf. <laughs> um but so thank you again and very, very grateful. And you know, like what else is possible for you and your book and your future creations? I'd love to contribute. And if you if you haven't ever met Alan on Facebook or no, follow some of his posts. They are pretty amazing. Maybe he should make that into a book, but it's been said before. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting me, Liam. Thank you, mate. Bye-bye. Cheers.